Hello, Peter Galante here with Cassandra Koop. And today we're going to start talking about video and the video assignments. So first, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of the first video assignment. And we're talking about using shutter speed in video. It's very important that you make the right choices with shutter speed. So I'm going to play this first one and you're going to you're going to see what I'm talking about. So I think this is a really good example of, of using shutter speed to affect the motion blur. And this is um, what we're going to do. Your videos are going to be 30 seconds long and you're going to have to have about 15 seconds of one shutter speed and 15 seconds of another shutter speed. And we're going to be very, very uh, precise about it. We're talking 30 seconds exactly. So if I go back and I, I pick a still here, you can see how the girl is uh, very, very, very in focus. And you can see how the background, the trees are blurred. Now that that's, you know, controlled again by the shutter speed. Now if I move down to where she used the higher shutter speed, you can see the trees are much sharper. So um, that is the nature of what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to explain in Premiere exactly what you need to do. Okay, so we're going to set up, you're going to have to set up your cameras to shoot video, ideally at 24 frames per second. Okay, now you're, you may have multiple kinds of cameras. I don't know all your settings, but, but you have to look in your camera settings and we'll, I'll, We'll, we'll look at that in a few minutes, back to the camera settings. Okay, that'll be another video we'll put together. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to make uh, shutter speed choices. So, if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, basically the slowest shutter speed you can choose is would be 1 24th of a second. So, for most people, that means on your camera you'll be shooting about a 25th of a second or a 30th of a second and that would look on the level of this kind of a blur right the trees would be blurred a little bit and the girl would remain sharp because she's not moving in relation to the camera so you're gonna have to shoot some video around a shutter speed of a 30th of a second and you'll notice now that this is a higher shutter speed and um, there's no difference in the exposure. So when you raise your shutter speed to stop the motion, you're going to have to affect your ISO. So the point of this is that you can shoot and demonstrate that you can control the camera and keep the exposure the same. All right, so this is one pretty good example. I'm going to pop another example here. And you can see here that the ground is relatively crisp with respect to the uh, skateboard and in the second segment here you can also see now that the ground is quite blurred and it makes the skateboarder look like she's moving or he's moving much faster so that's the, that's the notion of what we want to do we're using shutter speed that affects the emotional content of the uh, of the of what we're shooting right so I mean you know here it is crisp and here it is blurred and the skater looks like really moving along quite fast the other thing that you'll notice is that again this is truly on on manual exposure because we move from the Sun to the shade and the exposure doesn't change right the, the basically the the skateboard looks pretty much the same. So you, th this is very important that you shoot manual exposure also, right? You need to check on your cameras that you have manual exposure for your, um, in the movie settings. We'll look at the movie settings uh, a little bit in a, in a moment. Now I'm going to show you, let's see what we got here. Nope, I don't want to look at that one. I want to look at this one, okay? So here's here is a student work that they set it up and apparently pouring sugar on a on a strawberry and you can see 
that the sugar grains are quite blurred, especially the ones that are popping off. And now you can see that the grains are much crisper because this is a higher shutter speed. But you'll also notice that the exposure was not consistent, and that's a problem. So the, the, the deal is that we want you to have the same exposure. It, it changes dr dramatically. It should, it should be nothing different in this shot except for the shutter speed. So that mean, this is sort of demonstrating your skill at exposure. That's like one of the one of the reasons we do not have um, any uh, tests in this class is because every single assignment is a, is essentially a demonstration of your um, skill set. Okay, so th I'm gonna now we're gonna cut this video and we're gonna start with Premiere and how to set it all up in Premiere. Okay, thank you and. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao.